It's a hands-on legacy rooted in the school's history. St. Joseph the Carpenter worked with his hands. The Sisters of St. Joseph spun lace with their hands. And today, the young women that attend St. Joseph's plan to revolutionize the field of digital design and fabrication technology one prosthetic hand at a time. The girls are using their hands to help design, create, prototypes, learning how to code, and really seeing things come to life. When a child puts it on, they can use their wrist rotation to open and close the hand. From 3D printers to virtual reality, these tools are used to create the ideas generated by the bright minds that participate in the program. Young women determined to buck a long-standing trend in the field of technology and engineering, all while breaking new ground. What I try to do here with the girls is to educate them as it relates to different technology coding and so forth that they will feel comfortably enough having gotten the exposure mm -hmm. that they can stem into you know whatever field. There's an increasing demand for jobs in the STEM field however what's happening is there's a decreasing number of women that are going into the actual fields and majors of science, technology, engineering, mathematics. So whatever we can do to promote that and make it come alive so that they can see that math and science and all of these have real-world applications that's my goal. Principal Latham says one of the main goals of St. Joseph High School's Fab Lab is to turn these students into creators instead of consumers. Consumers. Imagine one day being able to create a heart or a prosthetic hand that will allow somebody to finally live their life to the fullest. And what better way to realize that goal than to build your own 3D printer from the bottom up. It's a bold project that will reap significant benefits. We're going to use it to make prosthetic arms, to make materials that can be used to help other people. Dance. Thanks to Fab Lab Connect, that dream is becoming reality.